Welcome to CNC Machinist Made Easy. My name is Matt, and here we are on the topic of chip breaker drill cycle. What a chip breaker drill cycle is, it's very similar to our last video of a G83, except the drill does not retract to the, to the R value. Uh, normally retracted, we talked about to the R value right here. This one just retracts. Most of them are in the parameters, about 50 thousandths. It'll retract, and then it'll continue to go. This feature is very nice. When you want to drill a big hole and then you g83 it which we call peck cycling we, in our last video to like say we want to drill a one inch hole but sometimes them one inches are a little stubborn so what we want to do is maybe drill a quarter inch hole about the size of the island of the big drill the center point and drill it through with a g83 and then instead of retracting that one inch bring that one inch drill in there and instead of retracting it all the way up each time there's a little hole in there that flutes are big enough for coolant to get in. It'll start going down. And let's take a look at this next slide to better understand it. It's the identical thing as the G83, except it's a G73. So you're telling your machine, hey, let's peck drill instead of, um, that, that, that shouldn't say peck drill, that should say chip breaker drill. Um, but instead of peck drilling with the G83, the uh, G73, uh, is, a, is a chip breaker right here chip breaker so everything in this entire video is identical the only thing I changed um, is the uh, peck when you're doing them big drills you can save a lot of time if I would come up and come down and up and down with my head it would take a lot longer than if I just keep it down there like I said the the flutes are a lot larger in those drills the coolants can get down in there there's already a through a hole in there oftentimes and it's just nice it stays down in the hole and it takes half the time to get that hole punched out of there and it'll just scrape down now what the Q means in this is exactly what the G83 meant it does mean peck but normally you want to take that and make it smaller you know, it's, it's, it's not coming out of the hole. You're saving a lot of tra traveling time. Make it smaller. The big chips are coming out of there. Now, in these videos, I don't want you to pay attention to the feeds and speeds here. Them are just def defaulted from our last programs. If you want to know the proper feeds right here and the speeds to put in there and such, go back to my surface foot uh, videos as well as my feeds and speed videos. Um, then you can properly fill these numbers in adequately. Um, but again, it's, it's a very short video. Everything is the same. It's just peck drilling. Um, you, you, you're entering your variables for your can cycle. You've got the same thing we explained in the last video and your same retract. The only thing different is we've changed this G73 80, 73 from, a, from an 83 to a 73. And again, this should say um, uh, chip breaker, not the old peck cycle. And we need to slow down a little bit on the peck seeing we're taking that much more material with a larger drill. Thank you for watching. This is Matt from CNC Machinists Made Easy.